Hi there. With this video, we start working on the JavaScript part of this project. So, when a user types in, for example, the city New York and then hits enter, we need to display the weather details for today and also a five day forecast for this city. To do this, we need to connect API. In other words, a weather service from which we can take all the necessary data and then display it to the user. One of the most popular weather services is called Open Weather Map. So Google for Open Weather Map and then click on this link. Then select API. Right here we see current weather data. That's what we need. Click on the subscribe button. Well, there are different packages. The free package allows 60 calls per minute and 1 million calls per month. Also, this package provides us with a daily forecast for 7 days. So the free package is more than enough for learning purposes and for personal usage. To register, click on Get API Key. Then fill out your username, then your email, and after create your password and repeat it twice. Then put a tick for I'm 16 years old and over, and another tick for agree with privacy policy, terms and conditions of sale. Then prove that you are not a robot by putting a tick. Finally, click on Create Account. After that, you need to enter the name of the company. And then select the purpose. For instance, Weather Widget for Web. Now click Save. This weather service already sends you an email. So go to your email box and click on the link in that mail to confirm your email address. When you prove your email by clicking on the link, you will be redirected to this webpage, home.openweathermap.org. Just click on API keys, and here you will see the key that you need to use in your app. Copy the key, then go to Visual Studio Code to the script.js file. Create a variable called weather API key and assign the key that we've just copied to this variable. Please notice that the key has to be wrapped in quotes. And also, I need to mention that your key will be different than what you see on the screen, because a unique key is generated for every user. By the way, I will delete the key that you see on the screen after recording this video, so you cannot use it. Please generate your key by taking the steps that I have already shown you. Alright, now select API. After that, click on API doc. So here's the documentation for our API. Right here we see city by name. To get the weather details by city name, we need to use this URL address. We have to insert the necessary city and the API key that we've just added to the script.js file. So copy this URL. Let's create a variable called weatherbase endpoint. And assign the copied URL to this variable. This variable is called weatherbase endpoint, because in fact, it is the base of any request. And then to this base, we will be adding the requested name of the city, app ID, etc. Well, here we need to add https colon double slash. As you can see, the app ID is used in every request. We can add app ID to the weather base endpoint. So straight after the question mark, we need to add app ID equals, and then after that we add plus weather API key. Now to check whether everything works, we're going to create a function called getWeatherByCityName. I am going to use the syntax of the error functions. Pass city to this function.
As we can see in the documentation, we need to use our weather base endpoint and then add q equals city name to the base endpoint. So we type in let endpoint equals weather base endpoint plus q equals and then add plus city. Now we need to make a request to this endpoint. To do this, we need to use the function called fetch. So we type in fetch endpoint. Let's assign the result of the fetch function to the variable called response. I'm just reminding you that the fetch function is an asynchronous function and it returns promise. That's why to make it so that the result of this function can be assigned to the variable called response, we need to add the word await before the fetch function. And then, right here, we need to add the word async. Now let's display the value of the response variable in the console. When the script.js file is downloading, let's call the function called getWeatherByCityName for the city New York. Since we have already connected the script.js file, we need to just refresh the page. Before this, let's open the console. And then refresh the page. Aha! We've got the error message with the text 401 unauthorized. That's because we didn't add the ampersand before the question mark. As a result, our weather servers failed to identify our API key. Okay. Let's fix this really quickly. Here just add the ampersand. Then save and refresh the page. This time we've got response. The status is 200, which means that everything works. Here we have the body. To find out what we've got in the body, we need to convert response into the JavaScript object. For this purpose, we need to use the JSON function. So we create a variable called weather and assign response.json to the variable. The JSON function is also an asynchronous function. It returns promise. That's why we await for the response from this function. Now let's display the value of the variable called weather in the console. Let's check it out. And we've got the detailed data. The name of the city is New York. We see clouds, coordinates, country, temperature, and so on. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that the temperature is 294.38. Why is that? Because by default, Fahrenheit is used. Fahrenheit is an imperial unit. If we want the result to be displayed in Celsius, or in other words, in the metric units, then we need to specify this. So let's go back to the documentation. Scroll down a bit. And right here we see units format. As you can see, we need to add units equal and then the word metric to get the temperature in Celsius. So right here we add units equals metric. And don't forget to add the ampersand sign. Let's refresh the web page one more time. This time we see that the temperature is 21 degrees Celsius. Alright, that's all for this lesson. In the next lesson, we will add this data to our web page. Take care, and see you in the next one.